so here we have it, uh, these various exercise poses, and it seems as if this person definitely had uh, an impediment, uh, handicap, foot broken, or whatever. And probably they are trying to show that certain exercises will have to strengthen other parts of the body and, you know, have general improvement and so on. But I recall that sometime not so long ago, you find that um, personal trainers stop here, physical trainers, and on television had um, this uh, person who died, I think, close to 100 years. Um, he was a, a fitness guru. And on television, you see women, um, especially, and men in it, and they're sweating hard and they're working hard, and it's like you have to feel pain to exercise. And I, I know there are some side effects to this because women started to exercise, and then they started to feel stronger. Some start doing bodybuilding, and um, generally, uh, they start operating like men now. I see some women walking, and they're not walking and moving like how traditional women would move. They walk in and stomping, and you're trying to see that muscle above the knee and so on. And it's not like it's like it's a strength thing. And generally, those who are pursuing strengths, uh, some woman is going to confide in them and say, you know, I like your strength and so on. And women generally like people's strength because um, generally they haven't specialized in strength and they need people like men to move things around. And so these strong girls, you know, will have other women coalescing around them and might be helping out in the lesbian. Uh, some of them now thinking in terms of they want to join the military and other things that um, it, it's a, it's a it's a, a movement right from one thing to the next and the enemy Satan is, is laughing because it then bottom line end up destroying families um, and so uh, is what God has to say about exercise I recall that in some parts of Scripture they talk about running the race and they uh, refer to like the Olympian type of thing which the young man rejoicing to run the race. I remember Green and then Carlo is the exercising and the doing stuff and psyching up themselves and even uh, uh, the Jamaican uh, uh, latest you know champion here. Uh, they all do doing the stuff and some people want to know whether they intimidate the others. But Paul was saying that you know it's better to um, you know watch it. Now in, in First Timothy uh, four eight. And this is Timothy writing here. He says, For bodily exercise profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. Now, I mean, we just can't help without exercising. I fractured a uh, bone in my hand. I was doing uh, fixing my truck, and uh, I let on it too quick, and my hand was there. I moved, and it crushed a uh, couple of bones in the palm of my hand. And I couldn't drive the school bus anymore. I just drove with my truck to California and shifted uh, gears. But when I tried to use it after my hand was, in my view, healed, you know, I discovered that it was as strong as my right hand, as a matter of fact. It was not strong. And uh, then it dawned to me that even the little things you do, to move this, put that there, you know, it strengthens the hand. So it doesn't have to be lifting a whole bunch of weights. Just moving around and just stretching out and doing stuff, lifting up this and that, uh, keeps it strong. And so we walk, we lift up, we get up, we sleep, we move around. That is strength in the body. In fact, it even helps with digestion because we don't know any movements. Our stomach is compacting and helping to, you know, masticate the food again. Like how um, birds will swallow pieces of pebbles and so forth. You know, so bodily movement in itself is exercise. Um, you know, gardening and so forth. So some people running on the road now or going on long rides and going to the gym and so on. They're just wasting time um, because it's not going to improve life significantly. Some people seem to exercise for all their life and all you might get is six months more. <laughs> In fact, you might have even lived longer, it seems, because the type of exercise they do, it's more like a job and it's more like dissipating your strength and so forth, the energies, etc. Um, but... The, the whole idea is that they seem to want a better quality of life. And, um, you know, for life, there, there, there are two Greek words that I want to look at, bios and zoe. Now, we are all born with biological life. But zoe is one, it's a, it's a power um, that comes from an eye that takes our life to another dimension. So that, um, I, I, it's not something that you could feel as such, but... 
um, a, a spiritual life creates a different life, and this is the life that will continue uh, into heaven and so on. Um, Jesus said, I've come that you might have life, and that you might have it more abundantly. So, he came and he healed some people, he resurrected some people from the dead, but then he gave them that spiritual life which will add on to the physical life and make the life complete. So, this is what people ought to be seeking, this uh, spiritual life that will, uh, I mean, uh, you, you stand in busy cities and brace it back to the wall and everybody passing in front of you. And you look at some men, they're talking to themselves, not on cellular phones. I do it a lot of times. I'm talking, I'm trying to crystallize some concept. I'm self-talking myself and encouraging myself or whatever. But you see them fighting and they're going around they're fighting themselves. You know, it's like they see in the face, they're starting like the, either the devil tempting them or, or the God is tempting them to do right and the devil is, you know, showing to the face all the evil and the need to keep with the evil. Ah. And then you see some people come down very relaxed and calm and a, a smile and a glow. Sometimes I practice that. I go and ask them and say, hello, uh, you're a Christian, right? And um, do you belong to a certain denomination? And generally, I am right, you know, so that when I'm in church and somebody approaches me and tries to you know, be my friend or whatever, I could see that they're not a member of the church. I could see that um, they're evil. And I, I could see also that maybe it's the government with the people that come in church and try to tie me up. Um, and so, you know, you, you could see that. So the, 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 the Zoe is what we ought to be seeking. And, um, you know, while I've never been in a, well, I wasn't doing threat in Judah at one time and so on, but uh, I've done that so long ago. But I, I still think that uh, I'm strong today. I have hope that I can live maybe another 30 years or so. And um, uh, it comes from that Zoe. And it's not only physical life, though. It's protecting your life also. Because uh, people have tried to kill me from from earlier, from the earliest that I can remember. Up to even now, games are going down and so on. And um, God is protecting me because I believe that I'm going to be living in the end of time. And... Um, this is the time of the end, but the end of time is when it comes back. And uh, I believe that I'm going to be one of the leaders out there that can be encouraging folks to keep the faith and let us go forward. And in our various situations, I'll be leading out to keep the faith going. So that uh, I, I think uh, God is going to look out for me and He's going to take care of me. And uh, even though I have these uh, various impediments and these hardships and so on, you know, the end is coming and, you know, everything is going to be all good. So, exercise profit little, according to Timothy. For, and Timothy, first Timothy chapter four verse eight. For bodily exercise profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. And I think this is what we ought to be seeking.